Morning folks, Javo here. Today I'm going to do a video about how we take a panel like this, which is just black powder coated, and turn it into this with some nice little fandangly white lines on it. I'm going to go through the entire process from setting up the artwork to paint filling it to taking the tape off at the end and we'll see what we end up with. Looks like a very simple job, but it isn't. So, the entire process starts here with the customer's drawing. Now, that's just a DXF, and we can all look at that and go, oh, that's pretty nice. But from a laser point of view, it's horrible. All these lines are separate. Ugh. Little bits everywhere. Not only that, it's all in black. So, the laser would just want to engrave every single thing on there and we don't want it to engrave every single thing on there. We want to have our own little drawing where we can tell the laser what we want it to do rather than what it wants to do. How big's that panel? 365. Let's do that. So the first thing we're going to do is turn all of those single lines into one complete line. Get rid of those, we don't want any of them. Um, <clears throat> it's even like these things here, look, they're made up of millions of different single lines. So we'll get rid of those. We don't need them. Those we'll send over there. Get rid of that lot. Uh, what am I looking for? There we go. Looking for that. I'm going to send that that way. All will become clear, don't worry. We'll delete that. These are our engraving lines. This is the detail we want engraved. So this again, these are all broken up into tiny little segments. Laser doesn't like that. It will live with it, but it will cut it twice and it will cut it in several different weird fashions. And we don't really want that. So we're also going to put that onto a cut line colour. Get a hairline on it. Get that back over there. Now this is the one that we're interested in. This is our engraving file. This is about the only bit that we're going to use. But as that is at the moment, that's really thin and it won't look very nice. So we're going to thicken our lines up. We are going to outline to object for that. Now you're all going to go, what? But basically what that's done is that's made all of them individual lines with an inside and an outside line, which is what we want. I'm also going to weld it and get rid of all of our little pits and pieces. Now I want a cut line on that. Reason will become clear when we put it in the laser. We'll stick our engraved file back on. We'll select all of that, put it back to where it belonged. Right, we now have a file that is red, yellow and black. Now we can go to the laser. Off to the laser we go. To the boot. Now you're probably thinking, woo, time to play with some lasers. But no, not yet. We need to now go and prep the panel. Follow me. Right, now that we've got the artwork set up, <coughs> get the panel ready. What we're going to do, get ourselves some application tape. 
stick the panel on there. Get that all trimmed up. Get a little squidger. Don't have to go too bonkers with this. We just need to make sure that it's stuck relatively well. Always remember sticky side down. <coughs> Sign writer told me that. Sorted. Panel ready to go. Finally, we're ready to do some lasering. So the panel's got the application tape on. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that this is not the panel from the previous clip, because that was this panel. And this panel is incorrect. The drawing is not correct. The panel is not correct. Be cheerful when I tell the customer that tomorrow morning. Um, anyway, we're going to do this panel, which is correct. We've got the application tape on. We've got the laser file set up. The laser is ready to go. And I'll show you why we put those different colours on the artwork drawing. Follow me. This way. You'll remember from our artwork <coughs> drawing, excuse me, that we put on a red cut line for the outside and all of these lovely inside bits. We also put on a yellow cut line and then we put on a black engraved line. Now with this software we have the ability to turn off what we don't want to work and just keep what we do want to work. So we can mess with those. So we're gonna start with this one. Where you gone? There you are. So this has got the cut line of all of the internal and externals. Now we're gonna put a cut line on with zero power so that we can cut these to make sure that our panel is 100% lined up. So let's flash over to the laser and go and do that. Right, let's see how we are. It's going to draw around every single hole and shape on this panel. So I'm going to do that for two reasons. One, because we do have a bit of an issue with some of the drawings. And two, we can see how well it is lined up in the machine. Now these are very accurate. I've got a little jig that I've made. We've got 22, 23 different shaped panels that we've got to do in this fashion. So they're all different shapes and sizes and with different chunks and lumps and bumps on the back and the front. So a bit of a universal jig to make it all work together. Now that's looking somewhere near. Just marking all of the holes. Trace around the edge of the panel. Consistent line all the way around the panel itself. Lovely. Happy with that. In position. Good to go for the next stage. So the next stage of this is to turn off that red cut line because we don't need it anymore and we are going to turn on the yellow cut line because we want to cut out what we're going to engrave. The reason we want to do that is because we want a really crisp edge that the paint is going to flood up to. So this will cut through both the application tape and the powder coat itself back to the metal. Uh, so that's the main reason. The other reason is this tape is a little bit funky when you engrave it. It can leave a sticky residue and the paint doesn't play well with the sticky residue. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out. Once it's cut we're going to peel that piece of application tape off so that we have best bare powder coat to engrave. It's all exciting stuff isn't it? So exciting, I forgot to turn the extractor on. 
which is why we're filling up with smoke. Ooh. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. There we go, application tape cut, cut through the powder coat. Let me go and turn my extractor on because it smells funny. Hoi. All right, so now we've got that, we're going to peel off this little bit of funk that we've just cut. So it's mostly, well, as it is, double courses. We don't like the sticky residue and we want a nice crisp edge. We won't get that much of a crisp edge because, or just engraving it, because we're running quite a low DPI. So we'll turn the yellow cut line off. We will turn the engraving on. And we will fire the laser. Fire the laser! So we're nearly there. This is going to ablate, is the word, all of that paint and powder coat off. So we'll be straight back to bare steel. We'll have somewhere for the paint to go. This is going to take a while. Let's listen to some music and I don't know. What, what should we do? We've got 20 minutes. I'll think of something. So there we are. Panel is all engraved, all back to bare steel. Application tape is still there. What we'll do now is take this over the road and spray it. So there you go. Panel's all finished, that's the process from start to finish. Um, looks worse than it is, it takes about 20 minutes to do the whole job from, from start to finish with the artwork and, and paint fill and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, I didn't film the paint filling, we just spray it, leave it overnight and then peel the application off the next day to get a nice crisp edge. Um, this paint is actually direct to metal paint, so it's designed to go in these holes uh, and not come out. So it's a little bit of a convoluted way of doing things, but it's what the customer specified and we're here to give the customer what they want, regardless of how they want it done. So yeah, hope you enjoyed watching, hope you learned a little bit. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Leaders of the world, our giant laser is almost ready.